I also want to show an unconditional branching operation with just B on its own. But for that, I'm going to use an example of an if-else statement now. So it has the else part of the clause as well as the if. So let, let's just go through this and let's try and... Well, the easiest thing for me to do would be to write this code out and then we'll deconstruct it and go, go through it line by line. So let's just modify this code. So we can have B eq and then we're going to change our label to be if and then we're going to move our that's all fine there so we're going to keep that as it as it is and then we're going to do after that line we're going to do uh, b else so that means branch to else unconditionally branch to else if we come to that line unconditionally branch to where the label else is and then we're going to do um, if we're going to do mov r3 and then we're going to just move the value into there hashtag 30 and then we're going to do else that else there in line 5 stays the same and then we're going to hold the program so let's assemble the code and unknown address at label 3 because we don't have an if so again we need to just make sure our line 6 here is a bit messed up so we need to put a colon there and do that so again we can assemble the code and it looks good so we've got our code assembled and here it's so let, let's dissect it a little bit so what what this is saying what this is giving us is giving us an if else statement so when we compare our value in register 1 which is 10 we compare that with the value 10 if they're equal right it's telling us to branch to if and then to execute the following statement which is to move the value 30 into register 3 now if the values are not equal then we move the value 20 into register 3 and then it goes branch unconditionally straight to else so we're not executing line 7 so basically depending on whether our values match or not we're either, either going to execute line 7 or line 4 those are what we want to our lines that we want to um, our operations that we want to perform under those different conditions so let's just go through this and we can change the values a little bit as well in a minute too so we can go through step by step and uh, it's line 1 so compare the values and then it's telling us that they are equal and then we move straight to line 7 so it's moving the value 30 into register 3 which is what happened and then our program halts okay so far so good so let's modify our value in register 1 now so that it's not the same as, as 10 so let's change the value 20 let's say and then we assemble the code again and our code's going to work in a, in a different way now so what you should expect this time is that we'll move the value 20 into register 3 which is the value on uh, which is basically giving us the operation on line 4 which is what's happened and then we branch straight to else which is more or less the end of the program and our program halts so that's using in this case we've used the conditional branching operation and the unconditional branching operations together to create an if else statement so we're going to create a loop using branching so I'm going to write some code and we'll we'll go through that code so that's how we're going to approach this so let's start with moving a value into register 0 so we're just going to move the value 0 it's basically setting our register value to be 0 we don't need to do that but because the value is already set to be 0 but we'll just do that anyway and then we're going to put our label in here so let's call it loop and then we're going to use our add operation so r0 r0 so this basically is our, is our incrementer so what this does is it adds value adds one to our register zero and then we do compare cmp r0 to um, to four so it's going to compare our value in register zero to four and then b n e and then go loop and then it's going to do halt 
so let's assemble that first before we before we go through it. So there we go. That's that's our assembled code. So let's let's just go through this line by line. So first line is fairly self-explanatory. Hopefully you understand that one. Second line, that's where our label is. Notice our label now it's before where we actually do the branching. Line three, as I've already mentioned, is the increment here. So we're adding one each time we execute line three, we're adding one to the value in register three. And then we're comparing our value in register zero to four. And as long as they're not equal, we go back to the loop label. And it keeps looping until our value in register zero is equal to four. And then it no longer goes back to loop and then the program will halt. So yeah, let's run that and, and see how we get on. So let's first, first line there, and we're going to add one to our register, which is register zero, which is what's happened. We compare it to four. And that they're going to be, of course, different. So they're not equal at that stage. So we're going to loop back to back again. So we're going to add add the value two now. So again, we've got two. So we add the value one to the register zero. So now we have two. And then we're going to go through this again, compare the value to four, obviously the difference. So we're going back again, we're going to do the loop again, add one again. So now we've got three in register zero and keep going. And now we've got four. And now the values, when we do the comparison, they're equal. So therefore our program is now going to halt. So that's allowed us to do a number of loops, four loops in this case. And that's how we've created a very straightforward loop 